get this started. Today I'm going to be talking about a budget-friendly vlogging shotgun microphone by a company called Mayono. Let's check it out. So how is everyone doing today? I hope you're having a great day or a great evening wherever time zone you are in. I'm not sure if you noticed two different things in today's video. First one, finally got a proper haircut after four months of lockdown. I was finally able to visit my neighborhood barber and get a proper haircut. And the other thing that you noticed today, if you haven't already, this thing right here. I saw it online and I was like, I have to get this light. So if you're new to this channel, I make weekly content on filmmaking, gear review, editing tutorials, and the like. If you find value in this video and in some of the videos that I made, please consider subscribing. Your support will greatly be appreciated. So before I get started with this review, I want to say that this is not a sponsored video, but Mayono did send me this microphone to review and give it my thoughts. So this, this microphone is the Mayono Multipurpose Vlog Microphone the AUCM10S. I'm not sure who would ever remember such a code, but this is the model of this microphone. So this is actually not just a microphone, this is a microphone vlogging kit. So let's take a look at what comes inside this box. So currently this microphone kit comes at about 82 99 Canadian dollars. You can do the conversion in US and that'll be a lot cheaper because the Canadian dollar is doing so bad right now. This shotgun microphone does not take power, which is really cool. And the reason why it doesn't is because it is an electric microphone. True condenser microphones take power or voltage. In electric condenser microphones, the electric charge is permanently frozen inside the condenser capsule. And this is why electric microphones are able to run without power, without phantom power, or even without batteries. This makes this microphone really unique as a running gun microphone because you can just set it, you can plug it in and forget. Sometimes when I'm in running gun scenarios with my Rode VideoMic Pro, there's been that odd time when I've forgotten to turn on the switch at the back. Although it doesn't happen with the newer version of the Rode microphone, but I'm still on the old one. So if you had one of these, you never have to worry about turning it on. A lot of cheaper condenser microphones use electric capsules because they're a lot cheaper to make. But don't let the word cheap fool you. There are actually electric condenser microphones out there in the market that are really expensive and are really good quality. There are some that are even in the $2,000 range. Who is this microphone for? It's a very good option for anyone who does not currently have a microphone to step up your audio quality game. If you're someone who likes to vlog on your phone or on your camera and you're using the microphone inside your camera, this is a great addition to improve that audio quality from your built-in microphone. I also think that this kit will be very useful for anyone who is having meetings online. Especially if you are having Zoom meetings online on your phone or on a tablet, this is a great option, especially if you're using a phone as it comes with the bracket and you can mount the shotgun microphone directly on top of your camera, directing it at you, which will give you a very good sound. Even if you have conference calls and work meetings at home from a laptop or a computer, because it has a tabletop stand, it'll be really good to place right next to you, in front of you, and give you better quality sound. And because it's already in a kit, you don't have to worry about getting extra accessories to complement your microphone. This is what the setup looks like if you are vlogging on your smartphone, or if you have uh, online meetings or whatever, on your smartphone, this is a good way to get better audio quality. So say you have your, uh, your office desk, you can place this on your table, you have the front facing camera facing you, you can see the rest of the screen, and the shotgun microphone is pointing right at you, and you get better sound. Keep in mind that you might need an adapter for your phone if your phone does not take a 3.5 millimeter input. So if you have an iPhone, for example, you will need one of these guys a TRRS adapter to lightning. Sometimes when you're outside and you wanted to do Instagram Live, this is a really good option as well. You could hold this camera vertically 
do your live session and have pretty good audio. So I want to talk about these two accessories that come in the kit. The tabletop stand that's made of metal actually. They didn't cheap out and make this out of plastic but it's pretty sturdy and solid. As well as the foam bracket right here with a cool shoe mount for you to mount the microphone. And this again is made of metal, it's not plastic. They did not cheap out on that at all. And there is a tripod thread here for you to mount this onto the tabletop stand. This is also very good for people who do casual vlogging on their phone or even on their own small mirrorless camera as you can easily just bring it with you and set up on your cool shoe mount just to record yourself. This comes with a TRRS cable. It's a cable that comes with the three bands. And what that means is that it's able to carry a right audio channel, a left audio channel, and the microphone channel. And this is what you usually need when you need to plug in the microphone into a mobile device or an iPad or laptops. It comes with this other adapter, the TRS adapter that has two bands. And this is if you want to plug in the shotgun microphone on your camera. So this is pretty neat because my video mic pro does not come with a TRS adapter or cable, so I cannot use it with my mobile device unless I go and buy the adapter separately. So let's talk about the construction of this microphone. It actually has a pretty nice construction and a pretty nice finish. The accessories are made of metal, which is pretty neat. And the microphone itself feels pretty, pretty solid. In terms of this microphone's look and feel, it feels and looks quite similar to the Rode VideoMic Pro. I have the older version, but that one is two or three times its price. One thing I would say is that this microphone does not come with a shock mount, unlike the Rode VideoMic Pro. So say you're walking, you're hiking, and there's a lot of vibrations that are introduced, that vibration might be translated into noise and it might ruin your audio. One really cool thing about this is that you're able to actually detach the cable from the shotgun mic. Unlike the Rode VideoMic Pro that I have, which is an older version, the cable is already connected directly permanently into the shotgun mic, so you can't detach it at all. Which could be a good thing or a bad thing. Like you may forget this at home sometimes and yeah. So let's run a few sound tests just to see what this microphone sounds like. So this is what the audio sounds like coming out of my iPhone 11 without a microphone. So this is the built-in uh, microphone inside the iPhone. And now let's put in this shotgun microphone on this phone. All right, so this is what the microphone sounds like with uh, my iPhone 11. So now let's test what this sounds like on the A7 III. So this is what the microphone sounds like on the A7 III. Earlier, you were listening to the sound from my Rode Wireless Go with the lav mic. And now we're listening to the sound coming directly off this shotgun microphone. And one thing I have to say is that this microphone is meant for vlogging. So it's meant for you to have it at an arm's length in terms of its distance from your mouth. Right now it's about maybe two and a half arm's length uh, from me, which is not ideal. If I get closer at about arm's length from the camera and the microphone, you can tell the difference. It sounds a lot better than earlier, or at least I hope it will sound better as I am closer. So now let's take this microphone outside and hear what it sounds like. All right, so right now I am on the Rode VideoMic Pro and this is the old version. This is what the sound coming out of it sounds like with little to no wind and no dead cat on the microphone. So let's hear what this other Miyono shotgun microphone sounds like. So now I have the Miyono shotgun microphone with the a7 III at the same volume level on this camera. And this is what the audio sounds like. The gain that you're getting out of this microphone is quite sensitive, so I would adjust the audio and set it to low because the sensitivity of this microphone seems to be quite high. So right now you're hearing audio from this microphone. You're seeing me from my a7 III, but the audio is coming from this microphone. So right now directly in front of me, this is what it sounds like. And as I move the, the microphone to a 90 degree angle this way, this is what you hear. This is what the microphone sounds like right now when I'm pointing directly to my left. And when you're outside, this is what it will sound like if you had a lot of background noise to this side of the microphone. And as I turn it around this way, pointing at you guys, if you guys were able to talk, you'll be able to test this by yourself. But this is what it sounds like when I'm speaking directly behind the microphone. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear a lot of me. If you are able to hear me, then it will be good for like a quick interview scenario where you're asking someone a question 
and you still want to keep some of your your sound in the video this might be a good option for that but we'll find that out later or you'll probably hear it right now and as I turn it this way to the other way this is how well or how poorly it performs at rejecting this noise and back to the center so this is audio still coming from the shotgun microphone the Miono shotgun microphone I'm gonna move back I'm gonna move back and this is what it should sound like and you should probably hear that it's uh, not as good sounding and this is what it sounds like at a distance of about three three arms length which is I'm bad with measuring distance so three arms length after running some tests and hearing what this microphone sounds like I'm actually quite impressed it's a very nice shotgun microphone kit for its price at about $80 Canadian it's not bad since they also include a very sturdy bracket holder for your phone and a tabletop stand you also have to remember that in order to get good sound you have to be at about an arm's length from this microphone which is what it was meant to be for it's not a complete and true shotgun microphone in that in a sense that it does not reject sounds from the side of the microphone but at this price point it's a pretty solid choice another drawback of this microphone is that there is no shock mount and if you were walking or running or jogging you'll be introducing some noise into it which might not be ideal what I do like is all the accessories that come with this kit. You don't have to run this microphone with batteries. You don't have to turn it on. So you can just set it, connect it and go. If you're in a budget and you do not have a shotgun microphone, this might be a very good one for you to get started with. And once you've saved up a little bit more money, then you can make the big jump to a Rode microphone or a Sennheiser microphone. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This was my review of the Mayono shotgun microphone, the AUCM10S. If you found value out of this video, please consider subscribing. Your support would be greatly appreciated. And if you're already subscribed, thank you guys so much for watching. And that is all for today, guys. Until next time.